Just then. Row. I know. I know. So guys, I was sitting here watching telly and then Nala, you could tell something was behind the fireplace, started to listen and there's a wee bird behind it. But I've started opening it. I'll show you what I've all done. I took that out, took the cover off, got all the charcoals out. It's a gas fire, so I don't really know where else to go with this. But it's down in this bottom corner. I don't really want to touch the gas because I know nothing about it. Um, I've got that unscrewed, but I can't get that out any further because the gas. So I'm kind of stuck for ideas here. Um, I'm thinking if I just snip the pop rivets up here, try and bash them in a wee bit, um, I'll get the top bit out, but then aye, I'm going to break the fireplace and I'm going to get probably grounded for doing this. But um, aye, there's a wee bird behind there and I'd rather get it out than let it die behind there. So aye, I'm going to keep having a look what we can do, but aye, it's not the easiest. So I'm just thinking these pop rivets here, I'm going to just try and squeeze them in and get this top bit out. That's all I really can really think about because... If I go up in the roof, I'm not going to fit down the chimney. I'll be honest there. Hey, Toy! Do you want to go down the chimney? Do you want to go down the chimney? Do you want to go down the chimney? Oh, you might not go down the chimney because everybody was calling you fat in a recent video. But they don't realise it's just that's how you were lying. Eh? Yes, you're still a beautiful cat. Look at that. Pristine. Absolutely beautiful. Pay no attention to them. You pay no attention to them. Nah, son. Nah. Run. Yo. Eh? Yeah. Whoa. That's my face. You wonder how I get scratched all the time. Stuff like that. Anyway, let's crack on. Oh, that's just finger tight. Let's take that off. Put that. Let's see what this does. Oh, the only thing I can see that you can do is switch off the gas. How do you do that? You've got that bit there. But you didn't want to be fanning about with that, do you? You hear the wee bird scuttering about down in this corner. Down there. Hope it's a bird. Hope they open this up and a rat comes flying out of my face. What are you saying? I mean, I can't touch that, but surely this whole surrounding should be able to pull out that far. And that should give me enough room to figure out something to go down the back to grab the bird. So let's give that a go. Right, so we have been getting an emergency gas engineer to come out, see if we can disconnect. Oh, who on earth has a crap phone like that? Doesn't it fit in my lug? Hi there, um, I'm just wondering, do you do gas call-outs to the home? Perfect, is it possible to get someone out today? Aye, there's a bird stuck behind the fireplace, so... Yeah, yeah. I, because I've basically dismantled the whole fireplace, but it's just the gas part at the bottom. Aye. It's Dean. Excellent, thank you. Cheers. What a lovely lass. Aye, what a lovely lass. So she's away to just ask if we've got anyone who can come out to do it. It's going to cost £175. So, aye. Hopefully they can come out, disconnect the pipe at the bottom, pull the fireplace out. Get the wee bird out, let the bird go, and then ah, just assemble the fireplace again. So hopefully it's that easy. I'm hoping it's quite an old bird, so it might have just fell down there accidentally. And ah, it can just fly away again. But if it's a young bird, we'll see. But anyway, she's going to phone back in five minutes. So ah, let's see what she says. Right, guys, we update. We've just had a phone call from a gas engineer who's based up in Edinburgh. He's going to come down as an emergency call out and switch off the gas and hopefully be able to pull that fireplace out nice and easy i mean fingers crossed when he gets here it's a nice easy job we're just waiting for him just now but he did say as long as you can grab the bird so that's what i'm here for i've got my box out ready 
and got my towel as well just to cover it up. So I just waiting for him now. Hey, How are you? Aye, no bad. The guy, that boy was like, yeah, exactly. I'm uh, so by the way, please. Yeah, aye, pleasure, pleasure. Oh. This is quite a forward thing, by the way. Is it? Aye, I'm quite a lot, mate. Especially with the coastal sort of tunes and that, eh? Well, I thought it would be a nice, simple job, like pulling out, but. See, as well, mate, Ken, like. Do, do you know what chimney is yours? I don't know. Is it all the same house? Aye. Because what you could do, it's mainly a job for a roofer, like, but you can get wee kibbles fitted onto the chimneys ah, and it'll stop down. anything going down, eh? The weirdest thing I found is, uh, it was actually the bar again, it was a snake. Was it? Aye, ah, along the bell of the end. I hope it's, it might be a snake, I think. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> but like that, eh, uh, uh, it's a bit of an unusual one, but I've got uh, your, your snake stuck. Aye. It was a red <laughs> snake, like, it got out, so. What we've got here. Christ, that's a little. That must have took you some dismantling, mate. Fucking idea what I've done, to be honest with you. I've just been taking screws it. Aye, because. You might be thinking that's just the gas pipe keeping that in, eh? Right, I can get some to it. That's the thing I didn't even want to touch. Like, I switched the gas off. There's a gas off, right? That's right. 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 some. I've got some tools, mate. Right, let's do this. Ah, go for it. Oh, well, look. That'll be right, Danny. Okay, what's going to happen? It's just going to dart out any second. <laughs> Jesus. Well, at least it's still good. Yeah, I'll just let it calm down. Well, oh, thank you. I'll need to, I'll need to cap that, though, mate. I'll need to do something. Here we go guys, just a wee young starling. It's actually looking all pretty good, so I'm gonna let it go. Saved.